children now we are going to study the second chapter in your it first chapter you have already studied about the history of computers all of you understood that chapter right next our second chapter is memory and storage devices if i ask you some questions regarding the things which is happened before korchu kaalam munne ningalde life le sambhavicha kaaryate pattittu njan ningalodu chodichal how will you answer you will answer by thinking or remembering the olden days alle past days ne patti ningal chindichittalle ningal answer pariya that is you are checking your memory like that computer also has memory memory is the hardware of the computer that stores data and information the place where computer stores is data and information are called memory there are two types of memory primary memory and secondary memory let's discuss about primary memory in primary memory it stores it stores programs and instructions that can be directly read by cpu cpu na cpu central processing unit na direct aite direct aite programs um instructions um read cheyan pattum that is primary memory and it is also known as main memory or internal memory primary memory is also known as main memory or internal memory this primary memory is again divided into two types read only memory and random access memory read only memory is also known as rom and random access memory is also known as ram now we are going to study about the difference between ram and rom what is ram random access memory rom is read only memory then first is rom that is read only memory it contains programs and instructions that a computer can computer need to operate this read only memory contains programs and instruction that a computer need to operate as as its names indicate that read only we can't make any changes in that memory we can just read it okay read only memory that is we can't make any changes to that memory it cannot be changed read only memory retain its contents even after the computer is shut down computer turn off aya alle shut down cheya ee samayam primary memory loss type ovula it will be there in its memory itself so that is the memory that is the read only memory are permanent that we can't make any changes since we can't make any changes in read only memory that memories are permanent and non volatile non volatile nana maatam verthan pattathathu that is read only memory are non volatile permanent and we can't make any changes then in case of also one point is there the memory will be there itself when we turn off our computer and compared to read only memory we can uh, discuss ram that is random access memory 
ROM is a type of computer memory where programs and data currently in use are kept. Nammal ippa use in the programs and data asum keep in the memory on a random access memory. And when the computer is turned off, the complete memory will be gone. There will be nothing. And we can make changes. We can erase the content and rewrite it. But in case of ROM, we can't make any changes in that memory. It will be there itself. It is non-volatile, but in case of RAM, they are volatile. It allows CPU to access data randomly and quickly. CPU ne pettenum idhille data access yam bato. RAM idhille data as CPUs ne petten access yam bato. Then what are the points? The data is stored temporarily in RAM. RAM lilla data are temporarily stored. It requires power to keep data accessible. Namak data is accessible in English power atyavshan. And that memory will be lost when we turn off our computer. Computer turn off chayidu ganya our memory lost saipo. And they are temporary or volatile. Next is measuring unit of data. Computer le data is in the use of data measure ya. That is used by bytes. Okay, we have to compare that. The relation between different units of computer memory. And the computer has the computer can understand only two digits that is 0 and 1 that are called binary numbers 0 1 matre computer na read ayamattu that is computer can read only binary numbers 0 and 1 a bit is a binary digits binary digits are 0 and 1 they are called bits a bit is the smallest unit of computer memory. Computer memory is the smallest unit on a bit. 8 bits is equal to 1 byte. Bits, 8 bits on 1 byte. Okay. All instruction that we are given to computer is converted into this binary digits. Before processing it is converted into binary digits. There are other larger units of computer memory. Computer memory li bits matra la, largest units vary in them. They are kilobyte, bit, byte out, pinna kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte, terabyte, etc. The relations between, relationship between different units of computer are, are here. 8 byte is equal to 1 byte. 1024 bytes is equal to 1 kilobyte, 1 KB. Then 1024 kilobyte is equal to 1 megabyte, MB, megabyte. 1024 MB, that is megabyte is equal to 1 gigabyte, GB. You all are familiar with this MB, GB, KB like that, right? Allai, pellaru madhinna familiar aane. Megabyte, gigabyte, and terabyte, okay, it, all of you are familiar with that, right? That is terabyte, gigabyte, and onna irkila ningalu pariya. You will say like MB, KB, GB, like that, okay? You have to study that relationship. Next is secondary memory. Secondary memory in the vachal. Data is a story I am going to do. One secondary item. Outside in the storage device insert in the secondary storage. Secondary memory. Secondary memory stores data permanently until it is deleted or overwritten. We will do this matter with that. Secondary memory data is one matter. They are stored permanently. Secondary memory are also called 
auxiliary memory or external memory. Primary memory or main memory or internal memory, secondary memory or auxiliary memory or external memory. Next is we can study about storage devices. There are different storage devices which help us to store data and information. Example, hard disk, CDR, DVD, USB flash drive, etc. First, we are going to study about hard disk. Hard disk is the most important secondary storage device of a computer. Or a computer and a two important item a secondary device storage device on a hard disk. It is inserted in the CPU. Hard disk of a computer stores the operating system, software, application and all the files and folders. A hard disk is a computer all data and information store. It enclosed within the CPU that I told you earlier itself. A hard disk has a large data storage has a large data storage capacity. A hard disk in a report data as a story on the capacity in the capacity range at 250 GB to 3 TB terabyte 250 gigabyte model 3 terabyte where storage capacity in the hard disk hard disk can also be attached external to the computer to store additional data or to take backup of the data nammala hard disk external itla computer item attach cheyanbattu for backupping our data or store additional data such type of hard disk is called external hard disk nammala data increase eikanum and had, uh, extra account when it in our external light la that uh, hard disk where a computer like insert in the hard disk in the pair on external hard disk next is compact disk that is CD there are two types of CDs and you are familiar with CD right compact disk a disk it is a commonly used storage device it can store up to 700 MB of data the storage capacity of CD is 700 MB it can store pictures audios videos etc everything like that there are two types of CDs mainly what is uh, they are CDR and CDRW CDR, CDR are compact disk recordable that is we can't make any changes in that recorded CD. Namala record the CD It will be like that. And in case of CDRW that is compact disk rewritable we can make changes in that. We can erase it and add more files to it got it cdr and cdrw in the difference months layer cdr la namaku once adiloru store data as a store edu kaina namaku adiloru changes vertan pattula but in case of cdrw we can make changes to that we can erase it or delete it and we can enter new new files and folders to that cdrw Next is digital versatile disk that is DVD. It looks like CD itself, but the storage capa capacity is up to 4.7 GB. It can store up to 4.7 GB of data. Today, DVDs are widely used for viewing mu movies and uh, storing data. DVDs are usually uh, used for watching movies. Right? Then next is Blue Ray Disc. A Blue Ray Disc has a higher data storage capacity than DVD. DVD in a Blue Ray Disc in a 
storage capacity kudalane compared to cd dvd has more capacity compared to dvd blu ray disc have more capacity it can hold up to 25 gb of data 25 gb of data store yan pattum in case of DVD it can store only 4.7 GB but in case of CD it can store only 700 MB you can feel the difference 4.7 25 700 4.5 got it next one is also this blu ray disc can uh, sorry it stores higher quality of video and audio e blu ray disc ile there will be higher quality quality kudalan next is usb flash drive it is also known as pen drive pen drive is very familiar to you it is a small and compact storage device we can take it with us every time it is very compact cherudu we can uh, take it anywhere it can store a large amount of data the storage capacity of range from 4 gb to 5 12 gb listen we are increasing the st storage ability cd mudal flash drive vere etum engenya flash drive le 4 gb to 5 12 gb but in case of cd it is only 700 mb okay usb flash drive is simply inserted to usb port of the computer USB flash drive USB port le symbol ait insert cheyda mari USB flash drive is a durable device it keeps the data safe and secure we can we can rewrite data onto it any number of times namaku etra venengilum adilna data erase cheyidittu namaku data enter cheyan pattum etra time cheyadalum there will be no problem so in this chapter we have studied about computer types of computer memory there are two types primary memory and secondary memory primary memory is again divided into read only memory and random access memory secondary memory that is hard disk cdr or cdrw dvd blu ray disk flash drive compact disk is again divided into cd rewritable and cd recordable hope all of you understood the chapter thank you